Hi guys, what's what's going on? Podmaster here, back today with a brand new video, and today I'm going to be opening up a one of the biggest packages I've ever opened from the Funko Shop, and this is from the 2019 Black Friday sale. Let's go. Alrighty, people. So if you guys haven't been paying attention to Funko at all, you might not have noticed this, but a couple weeks ago during the week of, of Thanksgiving, the Funko the Funko Shop actually had a Black Friday sale. Now what's going on with this, it's pretty much, it's very similar to the other sales they do around you know, Memorial Day and Labor Day and all the other fun stuff. And what was up is that they had 20% off everything that was in stock and on top of that, you got free shipping if you ordered everything, anything over 50 bucks. And what I got for you here today is a compilation of those Funko Shop exclusives and then some other exclusives that are on the Funko Shop. Like, you know, every so often Funko brings some retail exclusives on the Funko Shop. Maybe those are like unpopular or something or Maybe they just have extra stock, or who knows what the reason is, but yeah, let's just get into it. And guys, this box is absolutely ginormous. I mean, you might have seen in the thumbnail, but I think on the bottom or something, it said, yeah, it says 36 piece pop on the bottom. I just, there's definitely not 36 pops in here, but that's just how big the box is. And I have my packing slip right there. I'll put that off to the side for right now. And this box is the way to make more room. There we go. And guys, check this out. It's a ginormous sheet of bubble wrap. I mean, this is absolutely crazy. Um, okay, what are we gonna do here? Approximately 10 hours later. Okay, that was way more challenging than, that <coughs> than it had to be. All right, so with our first pop here, I'm gonna go with this one. It's kind of a larger figure. It's in this little box right here, and you know, I'm intentionally leaving that kind of ambiguous as to what it could actually be. I want it to be a complete surprise. I'm gonna move a little bit closer here. All right, um, I gotta be very careful because this is, it's one of these, these smaller sorters, so I, be, I cannot cut the top at all. I gotta be very careful. So I've, I've done that before. I've, I've tried to open boxes with pens and I've like, cut the top, and it's just it's really bad, guys. Yeah, so, you know, let's just get straight into this here. This, I'm really excited for this pop. I know what it is. It is a 10 inch figure, in case you guys are wondering. So that might give you a hint what, what, as to what it could be. And it's also a Funko Shop exclusive. So let's check it out right here, guys. All right, let's get it out. Da-da-da! Oh yeah, guys, look what we got here. So, I don't know if you guys can see it too well, but this is Pop Atacons number 59, and it is the 10-inch polar bear. Now, I actually have the regular Coca-Cola bear just behind me. It's just out of reach of the camera, but I really wanted the 10-inch one. It's just such a great looking pop. There's a look at the side view, and there's the back view. Obviously, now new pops in there. You guys can see the bear and the Coca-Cola logo. And yeah, I already have the first one, and I really wanted the 10-inch one. I mean, I have absolutely no space for this pop whatsoever, but I don't care. I really wanted it, and I have it now. It's nice looking. It has the, I think the newer Funko Shop sticker where the limited and limited edition is a bit bigger. I don't know if you guys can see that too well or at all, but right there, yeah. That's what I'm talking about here. It's a nice looking pop. Uh, yeah, as a size comparison, I'll just show this off real fast. I don't want to take a 10-inch one out of the box because it's, it's so massive, but... This is the four inch pop and this is the 10 inch one. So it's it's so it's so tiny compared to the other one. But nonetheless, it's still a fantastic pop and I'm so happy to have this in my collection. Even for 20% for off, I definitely wanted to do that. All right, next item. It actually, what they did here is that instead of, this is like a, it was a four pack bundle and instead of shipping the pops, you know, individually, they're all in this little like, you know, double box here. So there's four figures inside of here. I don't know what's going on with the top here, but it is very kind of pushed out. That was It, it looks really weird. Um, I don't know if the pack, maybe it's just a shit happened during shipping or something else, but yeah, and all, oh, okay. So, all right, this is even weirder. So it came in a double box with the weird top and then four of the pops are in these weird kind of tape sorters. Um, huh, that's, that's kind of odd, but we'll go with it. Uh, this was part, I don't want to spoil too much, but this was part of the Hostess Sweetennial because the company was founded in like 1919 or something like that. And so that means that this year is their 100th anniversary, which is absolutely crazy. And celebrate Funko Mates and Pops, and these released on the shop a little while ago. Uh, first up here, guys, we have the Twinkie the Kid. And these are kind of, uh, this is silver color, not a chrome or anything, but kind of like Monopoly pieces in a way. And that kind of just generic silver color. It's the exact same pops, but just in that, you know, as silver instead. Uh, I actually don't have the regular Twinkie the Kid, so I really wanted to get this one. I, don't, I can say the same for a few other pops in this bundle. And then it has the Funko Shop sticker, and then on the front there it says Hostess Sweet Sweetennial. That's a better look at the sticker right there. Hope you guys can see that okay. Can't, I can't see the pops in my way. I don't know if you guys can see. But 
yeah, that's our first one. Um, yeah, I really want this one just because I don't have a lot of the original pops that came in the line. So I know a lot of people were kind of criticizing that it was just really the same pops, but for me, I didn't really care a whole lot. It's all chill by me. So here is our second one. And here we go. We got Fruit Pie the Magician. Another great one. Again, I don't have the original version of this one. This is from the Hostess Fruit Pie product. Again, part of the Adagon line. There's the back. And then on the very back there, you guys can see there's an actual fruit pie of what the actual product looks like. Pretty neat pop. And that's our second one out of the four in this bundle. And I got one more where I gotta do this annoying thing. I gotta look at the top. It's, I, I hate these sorters a lot. I like the other ones a lot better. At least it's a bit easier to open than a 10 inch, for example. So here we go. Here's our very last pop. Actually, not very last. It's the only last pop in this kind of sorter. Oh, I made it. Nice. And we got King Ding Dong. Oh. Oh, 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 I almost dropped it. There we go, guys. I can't get any closer just because the box is right in front of me, but there's King Ding Dong right, th Ding Dong right there. I do have the regular one coming in for Fugitive Toys, which I got for uh, uh, a paltry 10 bucks. So that was a nice deal. There's the side, and then there's the back there with an actual Ding Dong with a bite in it. This is awesome. The regular pop at came out in the Funko Shop last year, but it actually sold out. I wasn't able to get it. I missed out on it. And the last pop in this little four pack bundle here comes in, in one of the regular sorters. So let's see what we got here. And, ooh, okay, I just picked this one up recently. It is the Pop Anacone 66 Captain Cupcake. Another great Funko Pop. Again, it's all these ones in that kind of just silver color to celebrate the 100 years of Hostess, which is awesome. Happy they've been around for over 100 years. It's really cool. And,. There we go, guys. So that's the four of them. I, I passed on this one when it first came out just because I knew... Oh, nice. It is for them. Cool. Um, I just knew that this stuff wasn't going to sell out very fast. And, you know, I, I wanted to wait for the 20% off discount, which I did. So that's nice to get those pops for a bit of a discount. Now, I believe we have... Oh, wait a second. I forgot about these ones. Oh. Oh, yes. All right. Is that rare or anything, but I really been wanting these for a long time. And I haven't gotten a lot of these kind of products recently, but when I saw that the Funko Shop had these Christmas things in stock, I knew I had to get it. First up, guys, we have a vinyl two-pack of Rudolph and Hermie. This is from the, I think it's CBS Christmas special, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And these, that this movie is such a crap classic Christmas movie, and on the back there's pictures of them actually in the movie right there. It's a really great movie. You guys, if you got, it's on every Christmas. If you guys haven't seen it, you got to see it. It's just, it's such a heartwarming and this nice little tale about Rudolph, obviously. And it also says on the front, official licensed product, which is neat. And in this set, we have Rudolph, obviously, and then Hermie. Hermie is one of the elves. And I, what I really like is that they actually have him holding a dentistry book, which is a nice little touch because if you guys have seen the movies, he wants to be a dentist. So that's a really nice touch, again, that Funko did. And I haven't bought too many vinyls recently, but this one I had to have, especially with a discount. So there's Rudolph and Hermie. Next up, we have another vinyl two-pack from another one of my absolute favorite Christmas movies ever. Uh, these ones that came in stores are just kind of wrapped in bubble wrap like this. And we have the Elf and Mr. Narwhal. Guys, how awesome is this set right there? Here we go. This is so cool. This is from the movie Elf with Will Ferrell and all that, and I don't, <laughs> I've never understood why they made a narwhal figure. I mean, he's in the movie for a whopping 10 seconds. I mean, seriously, all he has one line, bye buddy, hope you find your dad. Bye buddy, hope you find your dad. Thanks Mr. Narwhal. But, no, no, he's such a funny character, so I'm kind of happy that Funko decided to make him, and obviously there's Buddy the Elf. This one, the original vinyl packs as well. And then on the back right there, this is a, there's a better look at Buddy the Elf in New York City. I don't know, I don't know why they didn't put the normal one in there because they're kind of supposed to put you know pictures of both of them. But hey, I'm not, I'm not criticizing. I really have needed this one for my set. I'm not, not set just for, you know, because it's Christmas, Christmas coming up and all that stuff. And I really want to get more holiday stuff. All right, guys, we got one more pop. And this one also is not in a sorter for some reason. Don't ask me why, but here we go. So this is from The Office, and this pop I absolutely, absolutely needed for my set. You guys ready? We got the Walmart exclusive Dwight Schrute as the Hay King. Now, oh my goodness, guys. This pop has been an absolute nightmare to get. I mean, when it goes, it restocks completely random times, and when it goes out, it's gone like that. 
and I haven't restocked in a very long time, the product ran out, but I have never been able to get my hands on it. And then Funko decided to put it on their shop, and I'm like, gimme, 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 gimme. So I bought it, and here we go, guys. It's such a great looking pop. It's him right there. It's in the episode where he turns the office, the parking lot, into kind of like a children's play area or something, and he, he claim, crowns himself Hey King at the end of the day or something, but yeah, it's such a funny moment for the office, and with that pop, I think I have. Oh, I think I have every single office pop now because the date mic came in recently from Go Calendars and I have that exclusive. There might be something I'm missing. I'll have to double check on that, but I think now I have every, every single office pop that's out now. I hope. I, I don't know. I, I can't remember right now, but yeah, man. All right. So anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Pop Master. Me opening a bunch of pops that I got from the Funko Shop Black Friday day sale is 20% off plus free shipping. And yeah, I think all total for all these this stuff, it was like, I can't remember how much it was, but it, it was a lot cheaper than it would have been. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye.